Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is a really big day, and if you are brand new to the channel and saw the video description, and you are here to learn how to create a VR environment in Unreal, well, I'm about to show you that. But there's about a thousand people on my channel that are seeing this video for the first time, and I wanna give them a little context. So if you really wanna jump straight to how to build a VR environment, in Unreal Engine 5.1, then skip ahead and you can see the timeline in the description, but let me give you a little context. And this is for everybody who's already been on my channel and following me on my journey. I'm gonna hit the escape key and tell you a little story. When I built this environment a long time ago, if you've noticed inside, there have always been these three posters from the very beginning on my wall. And the first one is Iron Man. And if you followed my journey, you saw how I was teaching you guys as a VTuber to create Unreal environments. And eventually, I turned myself into Iron Man. And you can watch some of those videos certainly here on the channel. But right next to it has always been this poster, Ready Player One. And it is this movie that inspired me to get back into Unreal Engine because I knew in Unreal Engine 5.1, they were gonna make VR environments very easy to create and very easy to put in your headsets. So that's where we are on my journey. And today I'm gonna to show you what this looks like. I have not converted my big, huge environment, this one, to 5.1 but that's next for me. What I wanna show all of you, especially those of you that are new to the channel, literally how easy it is for you to create an environment and put yourself in that environment using Unreal Engine 5.1 and the MetaQuest goggles. All right, so let me close up this engine and go back to the Epic Games launcher. And instead of launching 5.0.3, I have installed, if you notice here in my library, I have both 5.0.3, which is what I was just running, as well as Unreal Engine 5.1. So I'm gonna launch Unreal Engine 5.1. I can do it here, or I can run it up here. So you will need to install the newest version of the engine. All right, now that I have the engine open, I wanna create a brand new environment. Click on the Games section, and then choose Virtual Reality. And this will open up a template for you with some starter content. And I'm gonna call this one VR Tutorial, number one. And I'm gonna click on Create. That will open the editor using the default template that I selected. And while we're just gonna look at that template today, and I'll talk to you a little bit as the shaders are coming in, you can build any environment just as you normally would in Unreal Engine. You saw my really big environment. This is not that. This is a very small little environment that just has an outside room and an inside room. Inside here, they've put in a little fireplace with some audio and some lighting. And outside, they've put in some standard geometry like this ball and these blocks, as well as some guns. And this template will give you the idea of what you need to put in your environment in order to make VR work. Now, I don't know why the template has the player controller so low, so I am going to raise it up because it says bad size and get that right there and click on save in the top left. You really don't need to do that, but you know, I'm a little OCD, so I wanted to do that. The other thing that I have installed on my computer is the Oculus Quest software. Let's pull that up. So you will need to have the Oculus Quest software, of course, installed on your computer, and of course you need MetaQuest 2 goggles. Uh, I haven't tried this with any other version of the goggles because that's the only ones that I own. Uh, and if you come down to devices, you will see that my MetaQuest goggles are properly connected. In this video, I'm not covering how to do all that. I imagine many of you have already connected your goggles to your PC, but if you haven't, be sure to check some other videos on YouTube on how to download and install the MetaQuest software as well as connect your goggles. Now, I will tell you, I am not connected to my computer with a cable. I'm only using Wi-Fi, and uh, you will need you know, at least uh, a pretty decent router to connect at the kind of speeds that you need for doing VR through Wi-Fi. But go ahead and give it a try if you do have Wi-Fi in your house and your goggles are connected to Wi-Fi. All right, with that software running, and now in order for me to use this environment in my goggles, you can see standalone game is what I have selected. 
and then all I need to do is click play. If everything is installed correctly on your computer, you should get a window like this, and now you can put on your goggles and move around in this environment. Is that not amazing? Let's take a look. Okay, so just to recap so far, I have my MetaQuest 2 VR goggles connected over my Wi-Fi network to my PC. And now that I have started the VR template simulation, when I put on my goggles, I am seeing the environment. And you can see on the PC, my environment moving around in my head. But if you could see what I see in my eyes, I'm literally in the VR environment. And I can just move around in this template environment. And not only can I move around, but because the template has some of the VR components, I can walk over, for example, to this table. I can pick up the gun like this and shoot some of these balls. And there's physics in the environment. There you go. Or drop that. Well, there you have it, guys. I have been waiting a long time for VR to get this easy so folks like you and me can build environments that we not only can move around in, but maybe we want to create games in. And what I am planning to do is to create some new environments under Unreal Engine 5.1 that I'll be sharing with you. Now, I'd love to know if you guys are this excited about VR as I am. I think it's pretty amazing that we can build environments like this, like my $245 million mega mansion. And we've been able to build these environments in 2D and move around and build games. But now we can build environments like this in Unreal Engine 5.1. And because of the new capabilities of Nanite and Lumen to build massive environments and do dynamic lighting, really, it's just up to your imagination on what you want to create. I'll be spending the next couple days working on a new environment. And I look forward to showing you guys the progress that I'm making. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, now might be a good time as we go on this next phase of the journey together into virtual reality.